Hello everyone, welcome back to a Small Turbo channel. So let's have a tutorial on this topic. So module 4, I have less, she has ample, he has more, let us see what's in store. So this is a module coming from the Deputy Central Office, modular or module from Central Office. Alright, so let's have right away the discussion. So lesson 1 talks about saturated and unsaturated solution. So, so in module 2, you found out, okay, so this has something to do with the previous discussion, supposedly, alright, so this is um, already assumed that you have known already the components of a solution which are solute and solvent. So solute is the component that is present in smaller amount and the solvent is the component that is present in a larger amount. And take note, they should be, um, they should or that appears uniform throughout. So it should be homogeneous. homogeneous. Yes, solution is a clear and appears uniform throughout that's homogeneous and it's uh, solution is very small that it cannot be filtered smaller than the pores of the filter paper so it can just pass through the filter paper you cannot filter anything out of it so let's have the the what I know portion the answers for this for number one so the answer is in a salt water solution what substance is considered the solvent so again the solvent is the component that is present in the larger amount so it's water number one is letter b next number two what substance can dissolve other substance in a solution so again it's solvent Then let's proceed to the next question, number three. Number three, what is the substance called that is being dissolved in a solution? Alright, so the answer is letter A, solute. Next, which of the following refers to the solution that contains as much solute as can dissolve at a given temperature? So we call it its saturated solution. Next, number five, which of the following refers to the solution that contains less solute than dissolved at a given temperature? That is unsaturated solution. Number six, you are given a 40 ml solution in a beaker. You add solute to the beaker and it dissolves completely. The solution was... Alright, that's still unsaturated. It dissolves completely. Next, something that can be dissolved in a solution is called, of course, soluble. Let's continue for number eight. Substance dissolved in a solution is called, again, it's solute. Next, Jessica made a pitcher of lemonade. What can she do to dilute if she thinks it doesn't taste right? Dilute. That's. Add sugar, yes. Next, when a solution is saturated, it is, it means it has no additional material that will dissolve in it. Alright, so let's proceed to this next discussion. So, in grade 6, you have learned about different mixtures and their characteristics like homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous one. So, for as a sort of recall, let's answer this for gelatin. So let's just check on the correct answer. Gelatin. Okay, it's homogeneous. And for the cup of milk, still homogeneous if stirred well. For the candies, it's very obvious, it's heterogeneous. For the cup of coffee, again, if you stir it well, that the sugar will dissolve in the cup of coffee then that's homogeneous the veggie salad it's heterogeneous all right so let's continue 
for the products or solutions found at home or in store so we have listed here five so their characteristics are homogeneous that means uniform throughout number one guide question describe the observable characteristics of listed solutions all right so it's homogeneous or uniform throughout that's the answer for number one you listen carefully later you might ask again next as you observe each product what was described in terms of color and appearance odor feel taste and number of faces which of these products are solutions? Of course, all the five products listed here are solutions because they are homogeneous. They appear uniform throughout. Alright, for this part, the what's new, you are going to perform the experiment yourself. So, all you have to do is you have to have a clear transparent bottle. So, you may use the used... Um, bottled water all right then just put two tablespoons of water so dalawang kutsara yung kutsara na usual na ginagamit niyo sa pagkain so yan ang gamitin niyo or yes lagyan niyo ng dalawang kutsarang tubig ang bottled uh, bottle water water bottle your, yung empty water bottle pagkatapos ay lagyan nyo ng 1 half teaspoon of sugar pagkatapos ay you shake it or stir it then pagkatapos ay i-record nyo yung appearance so i-record nyo dapat may table kayo para um, para talagang para talagang systematize kayo sa inyong experiment next ay kapag na na totally dissolve na yung sugar at another one half teaspoon i record nyo ulit yung observation no you stir first or you shake the bottle para ma dissolve yung sugar at pagkatapos ay i record nyo na dissolve pa ba siya yun ang i record mo until uh, darating yung situation na hindi na siya ma dissolve so after how many one half teaspoons Take note, 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1 teaspoon sugar. So, 1 teaspoon plus another 1 half teaspoon. So, that's already 1 and 1 half teaspoon of sugar. So, you just answer this. How many teaspoons of sugar have you added until the sugar no longer dissolves? Then, you will observe that this, there is, okay, so... When you notice that the, the sugar already, I mean, no longer dissolves, that's already a saturated solution. But, if you notice that it's still dissolved, then that's unsaturated solution. Okay? So, it, if it dissolves completely, then that's unsaturated solution. If it won't dissolve already, there's already the um, already excess sugar that's already super saturated. Okay, so if there is already sugar that is not dissolved. Okay, again, solvent is the component that present in larger amount. So it is a component that uh, is present in lesser amount. All right, then. Again, saturated solution. It's the solution that contains the maximum amount of solute dissolved by a given amount of solvent. Then, uh, unsaturated, when it contains less solute than the maximum amount, it can dissolve at a given temperature. Alright, so what is the difference between the unsaturated and saturated solution? So, you just answer this here. So, a saturated solution contains a maximum amount of solute dissolved by a given amount of solvent, while unsaturated solution contains less solute than the maximum amount it, it can dissolve at a given temperature. So, how do you know a solution is saturated? It's the presence of an excess solute. So, if there's an excess solute, that's already saturated. So, what happens when a solution becomes saturated? So, it will no longer dissolve it will no longer dissolve a solute. 
So how many grams are teaspoons of sugar dissolved in 20 ml of water to form saturated solution? So for this question, it depends on the experiment you perform. So perform the experiment. Next, in which amount, given this, in which amount of stable salt and water will form an unsaturated solution? So that's... Unsaturated, that's 20 gram salt or table salt. How many grams of table salt will dissolve to water to form a saturated solution? Okay, it says here 35 grams. 35 grams. Alright, then which of the following will form a super saturated solution? It's 70 grams stable salt dissolved in 100 ml water. That's already super saturated. Okay, for the answers of the what I have learned part, you may just pause this video. Alright, so for the what I can do answers, it's in here. So you may just pause this video. So for number one, you add solute to the beaker and you observe some particles did not dissolve. So that's already super saturated. What do you call? Substance that dissolve in another substance which is in greater amount. That's solute. What do you call a substance dissolve in any solution? Dissolve, still solute. Ah, it should be number two. It, the clue here is. The clue here is in greater amount, so the answer should be solvent. Greater amount. I'm so sorry for that. For number four, the answer is letter A. Number five, when a solution is saturated, okay, it's letter C. No additional material will dissolve in it. How will you prepare an unsaturated solution? So, it's add less amount of powder to the liquid. Number seven, to make a solu solid dissolve more quickly in a solvent, which would you do? So, of course, you have to stir it. Number eight, how will you define solubility? So, it's letter T, ability of a solute to dissolve in a solvent. Okay? For number nine, with which refers to greater amount needed in dissolving mixtures number nine it's letter b solvent number 10 it's letters so saturated solutions and solubility play an important role in our lives especially in the kitchen so in your for your additional activities you do this um activity so you're going to prepare two large cups and place it on the plain table and just follow or use the cold and at the same time uh, for the other cup use hot and you are going to um, just follow the procedure here and answer the questions which temperature had a greater solubility and how did you know include observations from your experiment so use a table for this output okay let's proceed to the super saturated solution so for the answers I'll just The answer for this question what will happen to the solution if you add more amounts of solutes like sugar in a cup of hot coffee or cocoa powder in your hot cocoa drink so it won't dissolve anymore and that's already a super saturated solution so for you to make super saturated solutions just perform the experiment here if you have the materials at home so just take note that super saturated solution is a solution in which the amount of solute is greater than the solute's solubility at a given volume and temperature. So there's already a precipitation um, that will occur. So there's uh, undissolved, so it becomes a stable crystals form, yes. 
So, what are the differences? Saturated, 